Alright guys, so I'm currently in my 2021 RAV4 Hybrid uh, GX two-wheel drive um, So I don't know if, if this is going to be for all fibers from Toyota But uh, for the RAVs I can say this is something you should avoid if you really want to get the best gas mileage out of your car um, I know it's not really the best Econo cars out there but uh, they do well and if you can tweak a few things simple things then uh, then why not so something that i noticed is on the power gauge the power the eco the charge i've noticed this in the beginning and i told one of the guys that also has a car like this i told them this in the light light they were like what are you talking about i mean the gauge clearly shows you i'm like no the gauge doesn't show you so i think the knowledge is not out there um just, just for a little bit of background, I've, I've went to Toyota regarding the batteries that gets hot. Um, they firstly, they don't want to see the problem. I clearly show them the issue of the car not cooling down the battery the way it should. I mean, the, the, the fan has got four, six speeds. And as soon as the battery gets to 43 degrees Celsius, it'll start to pull back power. The amount that you can charge back into the battery gets less. The amount that the battery can give out for a system is less. Um, although the little charge gauge that's on your instrument cluster still shows you your, your regenerating, it's not as much as it should. 44 degrees, it's even worse. 45 degrees, this battery does not want to take any, any uh, charge while well, it does take a little bit and it doesn't want to discharge anything I'm talking about the nickel metal hydride batteries um, and then the fan just goes to speed number four I'm like why not five and six you are overheating so much that you are pulling back all your power but just increase the fan speed and yeah they don't want to acknowledge the issue um, and then when they do it like but there's nothing wrong um, I've seen this a lot of time in forms, so there's other people uh, with other, other cars, even some Lexus hybrids that does the same thing. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the reason behind it is, they probably just want to save the fan, but then you lose your hybrid function, then you just have a normal gas car. Anyways, a little bit off topic, um, let's stick to the charging that the analog gauge shows you on the screen I know some of the other models has got a nice different screen with some bigger LCDs or some of them are fully LCD but uh, I'm sure of it principle is gonna stay the same between all of them okay so watch out for this region while you are using the cruise control I'll show you now why I'm doing 100 k an hour cruise control set to 100 I'm going to show you my battery, 54% on my 9. I'm going to slightly hit the brakes, straight from cruise control, 26, 28, look at my region, I'm hitting it harder now, 27. You saw that was the maximum. I hit the brakes hard enough so I can go there down full charge as far as I can go. I was limited to 27. So, I think the car assumes when you touch the brakes from cruise control, it's going to be an emergency. I'm going to go back to 100. Right. The only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to cancel first, then I'm going to hit the brakes, and then we'll see what happens. So, I'm going to go, let's switch my charge. There we go. So I'm going to say cancel, hitting the brakes, and look at that, 110 amps that I couldn't reach in. So never ever, even if you just slightly hit the brakes, hit the brakes straight from cruise control in your hybrid, because that is going to ruin your fuel consumption. So for interest sake, let's do something. I'm going to say... 100 k's an hour, cruise control, I'm going to hit the brakes for cancel, hit it and leave it, and now hit it again, 
Now we can go. Okay, so you can slightly just tap the brake to cancel cruise and then hit it again to do actual regen. Even though that thing is showing you you regening, you are not regening as much as that thing is showing you. So cancel or tap to cancel and then you brake. Okay, so the second way we can prove that it doesn't show you really anything is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my screen here so the maximum I can regen let's slightly hit the brakes is 5.6 kilowatts because my battery is full and it's hot thank you Toyota for not increasing the fan speed on its own anyways um, so the maximum I can regen is 5.6 kilowatts which makes sense in this scenario when I press the brakes a little harder, I'm leaving the throttle, pressing the brakes, and you can see my mechanical brakes is red here, it's kicking in. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm just going to leave the throttle, let that get back to zero, my charge there. Right. Now I'm going to press the brakes slightly you see my mechanical brakes is taking over I'm gonna press harder and it's showing more regen here but I was only regening five kilowatts whether it was on the first little bar or all the way down I was only regening five kilowatts so this is cool it might show you what should have happened but it's not really showing you what is actually happening